different different kind of uh, features will be test while it released to the so will the end will the list will be end because it's a mobile it's a vast you used right so they need to come up with some strategy right to test the particular mobile otherwise uh, they cannot they cannot test enough to uh, release that into the market right so that's what so you have to have a strategy to release the mobile uh, or anything into the market so in this case we took a mobile right but likely if you are testing a software application right software application so when it is enough to release to the client right so when it come to testing itself when before testing before it come to you right before come, uh, it come to testing or qa enrollment there is a testing that will happen by dev testing right dev will also test it after he's developed it he will cover you know dev dev will cover most of the cases right most of the cases because he developing he's developing definitely he will test it without testing he don't release to us right so he will cover most of the cases that means maybe around you know 80 percent 80 to 90 percent cases are covered right that means most of the cases sometimes you know sometimes it could be like uh, it could be like you know, 90 percent 99 percent he covers it he covers the testing so when it comes to testers or software testers or qa or qv or whoever it is right who is going to test the application uh, he has very less percentage of testing but it is a very important testing that need to be performed right maybe like 10 to sometimes 1 to 10 percent 1 to 10 percent remaining for QA right so for this 1 to 10 percent uh, where do you need to start and where do you need to end right that is that is, see we, we testing is endless you can do uh, on the daily base for endless and you never release that product right so you need to come up with test strategy and planning otherwise you will never you lever and your testing right so what is this test strategy and what is this test planning we'll talk more about this in the upcoming sessions but what i'm trying to tell you is there is a limit a limit in the time frame time bound that you need to start your testing cover as much and as many cases and close the testing and give it to a production or give it to your uh, client right so that is what you need to do first what you need to start with is bus business use cases right business test cases i would say okay or use cases what not business use cases system testing what do you mean by system testing there are multiple you know, under system testing type what it means system is here nothing but application testing with various testing types that you will learn in the for upcoming classes and also negative cases also i would say monkey testing monkey testing is one of the testing that you like play like anything so always always it's my experience and see while you work with your development team so they will treat the application as a baby right they will they are there because they are giving birth 
or they are developing it so they don't want it to be treated as a slave but for you application is always a slave that means you need to you need to play like anything you need to uh, uh, you know you need to use it like anything that's that's the mindset that you should have uh, he should not you know he should not uh, fall in the trap of developers that hey utilize it normally utilize it they, they will come in this language that hey please use it in the normal way right but no that's not the way you work you will uh, you will treat that as a slave okay so again going back to the uh, main point when is the testing enough you will have a test strategy and the planning to make it done and uh, that means you write test case enough to uh, uh, you'll write it uh, like 100 or 200 test cases and do a exploratory testing which is without testing with domain knowledge you do some testing and then you will give a sign off okay that's where we will stop testing but all this testing is happening to ensure that it is utilized or useful to business right clients otherwise uh, they cannot if they cannot use after all your testing that's a blender right so always 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 like i said you always need to be in the context of business and running the business use cases and ensuring that his business is continuity without failure and then do remaining testing which is a system testing that means you are playing with the system like anything and trying to break the system and and you know making them fixed with your developers any questions on this i'm just giving etc etc so there are multiple things that we will learn but i'm just saying that you have to have a strategy and a planning with the test cases and execute the test cases and that test cases should cover a business use cases which is very very important and then remaining test ca testing type ca cases which we for which will we will write the test cases by following some techniques we'll talk about them and then close it that's a, that's what we need to do so we need to have a strategy and the planning to close the testing okay any questions on this okay if not let me go forward okay what is manual testing uh, difference difference between manual between automation okay uh, a very important topic uh, in your you know see without these two uh, you cannot you okay i'm sorry someone has a question text is not visible on the screen so is it sorry how about now hope oh, it is visible okay so without these two manual and automation you cannot uh, sustain in the industry both are very very important without manual jobs are not there without automation jobs are not there that means you have a call you need to be uh, maybe to start with the career manual is enough but to go forward in your career automation is must okay so what is manual testing so when i say manual testing uh, like we did uh, another day like you know we opened a form and uh, you know someone has a form like this contact us form and we have templates right wait a minute yeah this one hmm. i'm just utilizing the online some of the templates should to showcase you right uh, what is manual so 
there is a requirement from your company or your client that hey i need a customer details form with all these fields and each field should have a validation or whatever text that is limitation right limitations and you know when i click on submit it should store the data in my database rahul yes uh, screen is stuck is it can, can someone confirm is it stuck for you as well yes we can only see how much this thing is enough that that's it Do you see uh, how much it is? Now we can see. Ah, uh, it's my bad. Okay, I'm sorry about that. So this was this was what I have written. Super. Oh, do you want me to go for? Uh, okay. See, I, how much testing is enough? Ah, uh, see, so as I said, 99 percent uh, or 90 percent will be covered by your developers itself because they are developing. See, we are all developing for some business use cases, right? Uh, so they will also test it. So one person to ten person, that is what you need to cover. That means it's a very, very, very important testing for both the business use cases as well as the corner cases, as well as system testing, right? System testing means your system, you're testing an application which you need to ensure that it is not broken because of any technical glitches or any non-functional glitches when it's a non-functional right what i mean is uh, you know the functionality is what you tested there could be a non-functional like system testing where backend may not work sometimes the configuration may not work sometimes these are all need to be caught by you so that is what system testing we'll talk more about system testing in the upcoming classes but i'm just giving you a, a glim glimpse about that right so you need to come up with so to do this one to ten percent right there are multiple testing types that you need to do for that you should have a strategy test strategy that is what called test strategy we'll talk about that and planning test case planning or test planning right these two are more important to say what where I started testing where I will end the testing and go for the release, right? That's where I was uh, I was selling You always need to have a strategy and planning to cover up the testing and say that hey, I am done with the testing Okay, that's what uh, What is uh, you know, How do you say testing is enough? So if you have st uh, have any questions on top of this, please ping me and now we are covering what is manual and what is automation what is the difference between them okay hope i can go forward like what i said i am taking a, a customer form as an example uh, assume that customer is expecting a, a customer details form with all these fields and he also saying that a, a submit should be there and and finally when you submit details with this submit button it should store in a db that's a general for example that is a requirement right that's a requirement feature that we are going to enable right so i would say manual testing right manual testing what i say is there is a feature that we are going to enable in release one release one okay what we mean by release one is we are going to make a release to the customer that with customer detail form that is what feature i would say feature called customer details form okay when i say form right, this is a form right First name, last name, what not, address, city, what not, what not, right? And submit this, right? So this is a feature. Now uh, we got the requirement, and we got an we got uh, we understood the requirement. This is a requirement for uh, a particular uh, customer, and he want to, you know, gather all details uh, for his feature reference. 
of the customers that means his, his customers will register here and it will be in the DB okay likely uh, you, know, you can relate this with your Facebook Facebook will get you all details and store in the DB right to further uh, login and you know track your details likely so first what you do when you got this you cannot automate in the day one because it is still in the development phase so that what you will do you will do manual testing that means you enter the details you submit the form and now you, you you definitely have a test cases around this that means you will enter with alpha numeric and with different uh, sizes or lengths and all blah 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 whatever test case that i was talking i know how to create the test case is not at covered but assume that there are 10 or 20 test cases that you covered to test this particular uh, you know um, customer details and finally you submit it yeah, i mean you will test all this form and if you found any bugs what you do definitely you'll raise the bugs and you will make it make them fixed with your developers and finally you will go for a release right this is release one uh, release 1.0 for example okay 1.0 is a version okay version controlling now there is a feature two okay like not customer details from uh, some some another form for example so now form two okay enable in release 2.0 or 1.5 i would say okay so while you releasing 1.5 you also need to test 1.0 features in this case customer detail form isn't it you cannot say that hey, i am releasing 1.5 i'll only test this form two and i will release this right no so for 1.5 release so 1.5 release you need to do testing for form 2 and then once it is stabilized then you need to do testing for release release one or two features as well okay so you need to test this as well to ensure nothing is broken see there could be a, some reason if i'm developing form two the system may be good at form two but in the back end it may impact one dot of features because it's a logic it's a code that we are developing so always there is a room to impacted area for whatever we are developing that's where we need to ensure previous features also works with whatever release that we are doing for one in this case 1.5 release you need to do testing for testing for form 2 also do testing for 1.0 features that means this is called regression actually this is called regression concept Re regression regression means that means you are ensuring that previously released features also working while you're releasing the new feature into the system <clears throat> so this regression has to happen every time for example if you get another release like 2.0 now now like form 3 right example now what is that you need to do regression for 1.0 features and 1.5 features as well right that means your regression suite is like like bumping up like anything uh, so your regression suite is bumping up anything so if you have enabled I man every application will enable this many hundred or thousands of features are already enabled in in your application and now you are enabling uh, another 10 features features 10 new features right 
when i say features requirements guys okay uh, we call them as a features because it's a feature that you are going to uh, enable right so when i said 10 new features means it's a requirements so don't get confused that requirement what is brs what is requirement what is use case what is feature these are all same basically if you have an application for example uh, whatsapp is there right so they they earlier used to have only few, few features like exchanging text media but later they came up with the new features called status right like security uh, uh, limiting the security to yourself that if you read the message also they don't know or uh, status that you can post or uh, sometimes you know now it has business business numbers that who can get the business uh, business data from the different companies or organizations right these are all new features that is been added on top of whatsapp example i'm saying okay so we call them as features or requirements or whatnot right these are all same basically we are uh, giving a new experience to the new more experience to the customers right so in this coming back to this case there is 100 100 to 1000 features already enabled and our application now you are going to enable 10 more features definitely these 10 more features will be uh, first these 10 more features will be manual because that is unstable at the while we developing uh, we do manual testing because it is unstable at that moment as well as it has to be experienced the user experience that human experience right otherwise uh, we cannot say that hey, something is good so it is always to be human you know human need to experience that particular development and he need to do different kind of testing like how real human is doing otherwise what happens is we'll miss some test cases or some some important features right so look and feel will be missed uh, sometimes i may say that hey uh for example i'm going for this form okay this form is good but you no know, uh if, if i'm a user right what i do is uh, okay i will say kumar and i will tap it tap it here i'm not going with mouse and clicking here i'm just tapping it that's how we do it tab it means your keyboard tab right so that is a human experience right that this kind of i'm just showing a small example how human experience has to be done now those has to be tested manually and while developing this form this is still unstable it, it may get so many bugs you cannot automate the ui without stable that means you cannot say that i can i will automate on the day one so you have to do manual testing right so otherwise you cannot <clears throat> say that human experience is good as well as uh it will fail if, you, if there is a development phase if you do automation it will fail right so that means you need to do manual testing for sure that means you do manual testing for this feature 10 features but if you say i will do manual testing for 10 to 100 10 or 100 i'm sorry 100 to 1000 right which are already enabled so to do this 10 features for example 10 features it may take one two two months uh, okay entire development entire development and testing i'm saying okay now for to enable this for example if it is a 10 100 or 1000 like i said 1000 right 1000 existing fuses uh has to be tested right as a regression because we are testing we are touching our system our code we definitely need to test the previous features right how long it will take it may take around three to four months sometimes five months sometimes six months right that means three to four months which is a huge time gap right time gap and day and say though they enable 10 more new features to for their customers they need to wait for another three to four months because regression is not happen when i say regression existing features are not tested and that's a huge time gap for the uh, actual customers so they are not enabling the features to their customers that means a business lost right time gap is nothing but business lost 
business loss is you know it's a huge it's a huge failure right huge failure isn't it? they lost three to four month business which is a huge loss huge loss for that in the in terms of money that means that's a problem what is this that's a problem for us problem for the customers so now testing people with came up with a solution called test automation right test automation that's the importance of automation that means what they will do is while they're developing 10 new features and they also develop another team will develop or same person may develop earlier this thousand existing features automation that means they automating using some automation tools and without manual execution they run the automation suite which will give you feedback in just two to three hours which is saving like like 99 percent right and even not 99 almost 99.99 percent is saved which means business will be resumed and upskilled and loss will be gone and both software development company is happy as well as a customer is happy because he's getting these features enabled in one month or two months which is a huge revenue to him and he's happy right that means and it's a pain for us as well to do thousand existing features and sometimes you are a human right you always miss we all we can miss right we can miss any cases that means if you miss some cases it's a huge again putting a bug into the production so that's where the automation testing is important along with manual testing manual testing is also important because you know to you're a human you need to give a human touch to the application and ensure that uh, it is human utilized human usable and look and feel is good and features are all working as per the business use cases you run the test case as per the business and you ensure that this is real useful for the business right this is this is where the where the manual testing is important and automation testing is important at regression suite regression area right where existing features can be run in automation suite uh, when i say automation suite automation testing right don't confuse so that i don't spend much more time to run the regression suite and it will give a huge benefit to software companies as well as uh, customers who are going to utilize this application and more revenue is generated okay i will pause here i have a question i will i will take the questions now from anyone uh what are testing and regression all previous build features or only main important features which are uh, repeating in every build can you play can you oh, uh, what is the testing in regression all previous build features are only main important features which are uh, repeating in every build no it's uh, all features regression we do for every feature that is there in the application uh, for example if you take amazon.com right you have like bunch of features a bunch of modules right uh, that are already there in amazon.com so how do they test right it's a huge testing for them when they want to release it without automation they cannot release the products so there where manual is also important automation is also important for them so to answer your question uh, kumar v v vmk kumar we and we test every feature not just main features but in every feature we test uh, business use cases that is p1 p2 test cases that is high priority test cases than every corner case but we, we need to test every feature before it going to release okay so see always uh, see I, I will put away you know whenever i try in something i will put there in mind that hey think in a business perspective then you will understand it and it will be in your dna this concept will be in your dna you don't buy it 
there see we can give n number of definition to any concept that you are talking about so we are not here to by heart the con uh, definition right we are here or everyone is here to understand the concept and apply it so always 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 try to understand the concept and come up with your own definition that's fine no need to be a same definition right come up with your own <laughs> definition that's fine okay please go ahead someone has a question okay if no questions i can go forward i believe uh, i can give some glimpse about this next development life cycle but i i don't think i can cover this uh, let me give a, a small idea what is stlc again forget about sdlc this sdlc is nothing but so, uh, software development life cycle software development life cycle right that means if you want to develop any uh, software or application there is a life cycle how to where to start where to end right that is what software life cycle software development life cycle forget about this <clears throat> um, in day-to-day -day activities take your day right take your day-to-day -day activities um, you want to build a house for you okay so what you do generally if you want to build any house uh, there is a process for that say so think in perspective that that you need a home right what you do first okay I will buy a land or if you already have a land that's enough great enough and what you do is okay now this is my land this is my square yards that means 200 or 300 square yards and now you'll take that uh, document to one of the civil engineer or generally we also go for uh, Vastu people to design the house design or what they will do first they will get your requirement that okay this is he need a home in 200 square yards and 200 square yards is facing west or east or whatever it is right was the as per the was and they will design your home okay this should be a bedroom this should be a hall this should be a kitchen this should be a you know uh, Puja Mandir, like that, right? So, first you identify the land, then you designed it. Now you'll go to your uh, uh, contractor or you know go for uh, uh, some contracting agency to start building it. To start building it, you need a raw material. You will buy that raw material. You'll keep that into your at your home or somewhere at. Uh, your uh, place and you start give up you know you will do a uh, puja and you will start building the home finally you will give some uh, once it is home is you know done you will all again go back to your uh, vastu people and see a home is built as per the vastu and design that was constructed and finally you will get into that home and you, you use it that's a life cycle to construct a home isn't it likely to construct or develop a application there is a software development life cycle concept which means you know to get the requirements in the home case you got the requirement like 200 square yards likely a customer will give the requirements to software companies who will be you know, as i said earlier ba or po will take the requirements gather the requirements analyze the requirements you are the vastu person here you are the uh, civil engineer here uh, and if you compare with that civil engineering with software engineer you are the software engineer to analyze the software requirements right you analyze the software requirements and now you design the software uh, application architecture and now 
again what you do you develop it that means like how the uh, construction happened to the house now you need to get a raw material like here the material is always software like uh, language c sharp or java whatnot you need to select all those things and tools and you need to start developing it and then do testing it like i said earlier uh, was the purple people will say, come and see whether the building is constructed as per the was right that's a testing for them in this case you need to test the particular application is working as expected and then when you'll go for a release isn't it that's what i am going to cover an sdlc phase i'm just giving a glimpse today we cannot cover in just 10 minutes right they're just giving a glimpse this is what we follow in the software development life cycle tomorrow we'll talk about this in detail what is requirement phase how how the requirements will come out is a different documents that we'll get it analyze that like analyze phase what you analyze here what you <coughs> what you design here coding phase testing phase and delivery and maintenance right like this we'll talk about this in detail tomorrow that's all i have for today i will take some questions if you have any So what is the difference between SDLC and uh, Agile? Hmm. SDLC and Agile is a process, right? So when you want to relate this uh, again with the construction to after you got a uh, design and uh, coding started, you need to follow process. You need to construct first. You need to get a pillars first or something. Process will be there, right? To do step by step. So agile is a process that you follow to implement software development, but uh, SDLC is a life cycle of developing cycle. So agile will contain this life cycle every sprint, right? But process is different. Uh, the life cycle is different, but those are all integrated when you do day-to-day uh, -day work. Hope I cleared your question. Agile is a process. Yeah. Step by step, yeah. yeah. Any questions, please? I, I like those questions. I, I think you kept it very well. Question, I mean, good question there. Uh, people get confused what is Agile and what is SDLC. You can ask any question, okay? Please go ahead, sir. Do, Someone we, else. do, we, do we do regression testing first or retesting first, sir? uh or retest is different right uh, see for example if i ask you uh you're developing i will go to this right 10 features right so retest will come whenever these 10 features are tested uh, testing in this phase you will find the bugs isn't it so bugs will go to uh, again developers and if they will fix it and then they will reassign those bugs once it is fixed for you right you are going to retest those bugs to ensure these 10 features are working isn't it that means retest will come fast then after all done with these 10 features and we are good with go forward then you'll go for regression generally nowadays what's happening is uh, daily we are running regression suite on the nightly job that means in respect of what development is face uh, is happening parallelly uh, nightly job is executing this our uh, test regression suite in the automation phase so that i will next day morning i will see your results what's happened to yesterday's code changes to today's code changes any existing features are broken i can easily get that report that's what happening parallel testing uh, we'll talk about that more but to answer your question the rest is nothing but you're test retesting your bug which is comes under high priority for you uh, what is it in development phase we will use only manual testing or else no uh, nowadays as i said right shiva both manual and automation are important not a single piece is sustainable for an extent manual testing can be sustainable uh our, our automation can be sustainable but long journey is both so no people are 
I know companies are expecting only manual testers, only automation testers. Only, only limited, only limited people are expecting it. But uh, if you want to uh, explore your journey in this testing field, you should get both. When we perform sanity testing, uh, VMK Kumar, yeah, we'll cover that in the next up upcoming session. But I will give, give a glimpse to you. Like, what is sanity, right? Uh, again out of these 10 features one feature is developed and say that hey uh, VM Kumar I I had done with my development you do testing now first to start with testing you have to ensure that that particular feature end-to-end -end, that means it may have 10 fields it may have submit it may have uh, you know open it may have some buttons like that but right in that particular form you have to ensure that those are all working first so that you can start testing right otherwise if you start test uh, if you directly jump you know testing like for example this is a form right if you directly jump to testing here but uh, sanity is nothing but you know you know to see every field is enabled or not okay enter enterable or not okay this is good this is good okay this is this is not coming okay this is okay uh, like this like this okay this is going any uh, somewhere else feedback okay no yeah, maybe yeah blah 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 submit at least if this is working what i have just performed is called sanity or smoke test to ensure everything is smooth enough to go forward instead of having blockers if i click on submit now and it is not submitting and it is giving a blocker that hey you are blast right uh, email at the red gmail.com your blast that means you cannot go for for all execute all the test cases isn't it that's a huge blast that that's what sanity ensure that nothing is blocker for you uh, flow is going fine and then you can start executing your test case one by one like first name there could be some fields that you need to go uh, with beyond some characterizations or alphanumeric like that right so that's what sanity or sorry you will do sanity or smoke test whenever you got a build for testing uh, okay uh, as a tester how should be mindset while testing your mindset should be always to break the system i want to kill the system so that it is not useful when I'm testing it along with first mindset is first ensure that your business use case are working and if that is good then play with your system with different set of data like use this like a slave like kill it and always try to break the system that's your mindset how is the Agile job is a tool for a framework was it a, what was that agile is a hello it's a process it's a framework process agile okay and uh, have you used in handled testing I, uh, sorry uh, your question was not clear can you please repeat it uh where we use in handled testing uh, as a agile agile is not for testing it is for entire software development process there should be a process right we follow that process not only you entire team will follow the agile process okay and agile scrum master is a different kind hmm. agile scrum master uh, uh, it's a not relevant question but I'm, i will just give you a glimpse right See, Scrum Master is nothing but uh, he is a manager or managing work in a sprint. That means there is a in Agile there is a concept called team, Agile uh, sprint, uh, uh, Agile team or sprint team, where we have four developers and two QAs, QAs, right? And that is a ratio that will went in. Yeah. So these developers will develop some features and these QEs will test the particular feature so that we can enable that into the production, isn't it? 
that team will be managed or maintained by scrum master scrum master is a person who manages particular work and give the deliverables along with product owner along the project managers and all okay okay so he's a okay. he's a lead and, uh, or a manager to the particular yeah team. yeah please go ahead mm -hmm. scrum go master ahead. is a tester also or not scrum master is a at no he's a not tester is also or not no he's a, as i said right he's a master he's a lead not a tester okay lead. It's, a separate, it's a separate role uh earlier we used to have a team leads for testing or uh, you know development who used to manage entire deliverables now since we are following agile scrum master took that role and he is is like a project manager for the particular team and he manages both development and and testing like a professional way not like earlier way uh, as a as a team they will deliver so he's a different role it's a different role not a tester role okay thank you that's great uh, how is a job market for selenium why because we are listening bus uh works like cypress and playwright tools you are right john uh selenium see that's what uh, end of the day it's an automation tool right if you take selenium playwright cypress whatnot right we have a bunch of tools in the industry like you asked uh, the buzz is around playwright and cypress more buzz is coming to playwright so while you're learning automation tool i recommend you all to learn the latest and greatest tool because around the buzz is shifting to those tools the mark the people in the market will be less to those tools right so you, you can easily capture the market and get the job uh i'm degree student in manual testing possible or uh, yeah satish there is no nowadays if you're you know well enough or good enough in software development things there is no barrier for uh, degree or uh, btech or mca they are taking degree people as well if you have a good knowledge and good talent there is no issues even bcom people are coming sometimes i, I see that as well but again it's a passion right you all need to get get into passion to do the job it's not just a job to do it's your responsibility as well as as a testing so you need to get passion uh testers tester test lead senior tester role are there but in agile process team wise roles are there all right mm, yeah see the roles and responsibilities are different and the process is different I will take an example again going back to the construction business right if you say I have a role of civil engineer I have a role of mastery I have a role of uh, labor right you all these are all come together to construct your house right to construct your house there is a process right uh, you know to follow this process which will be given guidance by civil engineer right and they this uh, uh, Mystery and labor will follow that right? So the process is different don't get confused with process and roles and responsibilities Roles is what who is going to work on that and process is uh, you know, we need to follow the process to Construct in this case develop a software so they are, those are different but don't get confused i uh, will talk about more about this in the upcoming sessions okay don't get confused yourself okay thank uh, you thank you thanks puja uh, sir regression test thank you uh, kumar sorry puja sir regression testing is time consuming so it is recommended is it recommend regression test is must puja that's why we recommend that to be done with automation testing rather than manual automation test can can do the test because it's a tool right it will do overnight for you just two to three hours or four hours 
and it will give a report so it is recommended satish i am b bcom computer student sir yeah satish you can also explore the options no no barrier for that automation testing is java there automation testing see java is a language right so there are multiple tools in the industry that support multiple languages like java python uh, java scripting type scripting ruby what not right you need to take a best language out of it which is industry is taking so that you can go forward some user ask this and nowadays the main buzz is going around cypress and playwright right those are been more utilized with javascripting rather than java mm, javascript i think i answered your question uh, please ask please ask workman no issues can i get a job on basis of three years diploma diploma in it uh, I, 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 please elaborate so you have done the diploma and you, you are expecting a job yeah why not right it depends upon what diploma you have done three years diploma is okay uh, if it is two years that is a problem but three years is okay I'm BZ computer chemistry student, uh, BS, BZ C computer students, say chemistry students. See, uh, that's what I'm gonna again. There is no barrier, but if you are really interested and uh, and focused enough, you'll definitely you'll get a crack. You can crack a job. I completed uh, DIP. Okay, computer. Yeah, I think so. It's a right diploma. You can go forward with that. There's no no issues for you. Okay.